that views through here look amazing. Well, all right, made it up the canyon again for another overnighter, trying a different uh, uh, place to camp this time. I uh, didn't want to travel all the way to Winners in the dark again like I did last time because I got another late start. So, um, see what I can find here up American Fork Canyon close to home seems how it's only maybe uh, you know 30 minutes from home so looks like this area here is pretty steep but that's the problem with these mountains here they're so steep everywhere We're trying to find a flat spot for a tent but we'll see what we can find looks like there's a little bench up here that we kind of flattens off we'll Look for that area and see if that works. Well, no matter what I do, I better find something quick because the sun just went down behind the mountain there. <clears throat> That's a pretty gnarly ravine there. Well, it's so steep and rugged in here. I'm just looking at that hill right there. It looks like there's maybe a flat spot right there. I'm crossing my fingers. Heck yeah. Bushwhacking in the snow. find a way through. Dang, this is steep. I gotta take the phone off and concentrate on climbing. All right, just what I hope for. Flattens out in there. Thank goodness, because that's a steep hill. Whew. Oh, path of least resistance. All right. Okay, yeah, looking around here, it looks like uh, there's another spot here that looks like somebody had camped here before because there's a fire ring and some benches around the side there made out of logs. All right, voila, look at that, flat spot. Heck yeah. Looks like a good spot to camp. It's the only flat place I could find. In this whole area looks like somebody's been here too. They left their cans right here in the tree. Litter bugs. But yeah, this looks like this could be a good campsite for the night. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good flat spot to make a camp. It's right up on this little bench right here. Heck yeah, that'll work. I just need to break out my gear and get her done. Got a nice view of that mountain up there. Awesome. All right, I found another spot right here. It's a little flatter than the other one, but there's a little bit of snow there. I'll just have to shovel it out. Well, all right, I got me a nice level spot there that I shoveled out and get my tent out and get that set up. All right, so the hill's kind of going this way a little bit, so I want my head uphill. 
Otherwise you get a headache in the night with all the blood rushing to your head. Don't want that. Nice thing about this tent is the poles are color coded. I do the opposite ones first. All right, now the frame's up. Just snap these up like so. And there's a cross piece across the top. Oh yeah. And then the center. And the first thing I want to do is get my bed out. So the sleeping bag will start fluffing up because you want the down and the sleeping bag to get all puffed up for maximum warmth. bed made. All right, well, there she be. And we can come over here and we can get our unzipped and and then I can get inside and get get my bed made. So we want to get this uh, bed made up right so I need to go get my pad first. All right, so here's my closed cell pad. I'll put it down first. It's a thermi rest, ridge rest. And then I got this uh, foil liner blanket. It's a uh, heating pad material. It's got a foil liner in it, so we'll put that down for added insulation. So you want to protect yourself from the cold coming up from the ground. Because your sleeping bag will do the rest on the top. But all your padding underneath is what keeps you warm from the ground. So now I get my uh, got a bolt pillow, and I got a regular pillow. This is the Alps Mountaineering pillow. I like this pillow because it's uh, just like a pillow from home. It's got the poofy padding in it. Makes it nice, and then this is, I like a, a tall pillow, so I also got the blow-up pillow that I put underneath it. All right. And my Thermarest camper. And I like this one because it's super thick and I'm a side sleeper, so it keeps my hip off the ground. It makes it nice. Okay, so I got three layers underneath me. Now I just need to get my my new uh, sleeping bag out. Uh, thank you, Devin, with uh, Backcountry Exposure for recommending this uh, sleeping bag to me. It's the Nemo Disco. It's for people who like a roomy, a roomy bed because they toss, turn, and like to stick their leg out, whatever. It's the most roomy uh, sleeping bag out there from what I hear so um, I'm hoping it's a 15 degree bag it's supposed to get 13 degrees tonight so hopefully uh, I can put my heated water and my water bottle in the bottom and uh, hopefully that'll be enough to keep me warm if not I also have a down blanket that I can put inside and wrap around my cold spots if I have any. I'm just really hopeful that this uh, this uh, Nemo Disco will do the trick. I'm super excited. I want this bag to fluff up so that the down in it 
fluffs up to create those air pockets that you need. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm getting all poofy. Uh, it means poofy means warm. <laughs> we hope. Okay. And then I have an extra puffer jacket in my backpack if I need to. I can stuff it down in my feet uh, to keep my feet warm if for some reason they get cold. But last time the heated water in my water bottle stayed warm all night. So I think that'll do the trick. Okay, I'll get my pillows in there. And uh, I blow up this pillow here. And then I also, in the night, I have a wool hat and gloves that I can wear in the, in the night while I sleep, if I need them. And then here is my uh, blow up pillow. This one's a quick blow up pillow. Just opens up. So what is that, about five or six blows? Blow that up. Get that on there. Two pillows, two blankets, Nemo Disco, three layers of padding underneath me, and a warm water bottle. That should do the trick to keep me warm in 13. Let's see, right now it's about 24 degrees, so Fahrenheit. It's getting dark quick. So I'm thinking right there, I'm gonna put my chair up against that tree so I have something against my back to keep the cold breeze off of me. And right out in front here, I'm gonna put the fire right over here. So hopefully that'll keep me warm by the fire tonight. All right, today we're gonna make fire. I'm gonna pull out my fire starting kit and see what, sh what we can do in here to make a fire with. I got several ways to make a fire. Let's see which one's gonna be fun today. You know, I haven't done steel wool in a battery in a while. So what you do is you find coarse steel wool, pull off some of that, and then take a nine volt battery, or even a regular AA battery, touch it to this and it starts on fire. Now I have this orange pine needle kindling here to start once this starts and then I have my twigs ready to go and more behind me. So let's see how this works. Here's a 9 volt battery. My uh, 9 volt battery was dead. Good thing I got backup batteries. So here's just a double or a triple A. Let's see if it's, it'll work. So basically you just touch the two terminals of the battery on the steel wool and it should start it up. I might need to put two of them together. There we go. And once that gets started, get that under there like so. Get this thing rip roaring. Get some warmth going and get some dinner going. All right. On the menu is Alpine Air Creamy Beef and Noodle with Mushrooms. It says two cups of water boiling. So that's what I got going on over there. I got two cups boiling on there. And we're going to put this in and stir it up and hope it's good. Haven't tried this brand before, so I'm going to give it a shot. And this is what it looks like inside. Dry. There we go. Alright, looks like we got maximum boil here. Pour that in there and stir it up. it in there really good. Seal her up. Set her up there on my seat so I keep my seat warm. <laughs> see what we got here. Let's 
Mmm, smells good. Let's see if you can see inside there. Heck yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's really good. Heck yeah, Christy would hate it because it's got mushrooms. But for me, it's almost like a beef stroganoff a little bit. It's really good. I'd give this a good old five out of five. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. This fire feels nice. Well, all right. That was a pretty good dinner. I washed it down with the Coke Zero, and this is another one to maybe wash down with my dessert. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna have for dessert yet, but that meal was pretty filling, so I might even skip dessert. But anyway, out on another winter camp. Pretty awesome. Yeah, again, I wish Christy was here, you know. But she doesn't like the cold, so she's home. Nice warm house and uh, doing her little craft and watching some TV. <laughs> I'm sitting here warming up by a nice fire. It's supposed to get down to 13 degrees today, but or tonight. But it doesn't seem it. Even when I step away from the fire, it seems a lot warmer than that. I'll have to check the <clears throat> thermometer when I get in the tent. Anyway, just thought I'd run up the canyon to a new spot so I didn't have to drive so far to my last spot. So and this turned out pretty good because, you know, it's close to home, 30 minutes, and i uh, got cell phone coverage so I can call somebody if I need some help and i got the place myself. Pretty nice. Hopefully everybody else is having a good old time doing something. Getting out, hiking a trail, or camping, or fishing, or freeze drying foods, or whatever. <clears throat> Makes them happy. It's nice, I got the... I got an owl over here behind me that's tooting his horn. Ooh, ooh. Pretty peaceful up here. Crackle of the fire, silence of the winter night, and an owl. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there he goes again, right to my hoot. Right on. All right, so boiling the water, putting it in my uh, mug, putting it in my sleeping bag worked really good last time, so I'm going to do it again. Uh, so I'm going to boil up some water. Once that's boiled, I'll put it in my mug. In my uh, Camelback Nalgene bottle. Stick it in the bottom of my sleeping bag, keep my feet warm all night. Alright, i got my boiled water in my mug. I'm going to put that in the bottom of my sleeping bag. Keep my... Uh, Keep my feet warm. All right, here's another cool gadget that I got. There's my regular charger that I use for my equipment, but I got these rechargeable AA battery or AAA batteries for when the energizers don't jize no more. Well, it's just after 10 o'clock. It's time to hit the hay, so getting ready to climb in my bag. It feels so warm in there because that boiled water is in there. So I have a pretty good feeling I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, stay warm all night. What the heck? <laughs> Uh, low flying tropper, they must have sent in the posse because they think I froze to death or something or got lost. But no, 
All's good. Stayed warm all night. Well, that alarm was supposed to go off in a few minutes, but that little flying chopper, that's pretty loud. That woke me up. Well, let's see what we did last night for temperature. Well, it's still cold in the tent, but warming up my uh, water there. Still see my breath, but it's warmed up uh, 25 degrees. It's almost uh, 40 degrees now, so that's good. And plus, when I warm up my hot water, right there, I'm warming up the tent, warm up the hot water. I'm gonna stick that in there to warm up my boots before I put my boot on. All right, it's time to get some breakfast on. Let's see, hopefully nothing froze up over the night. Cause it was cold last night. Got my GSI fry pan, pinnacle fry pan. Let's see if I can get this thing lit up here and get some bacon going. This bacon will give me enough grease to cook up the eggs I brought from home. And then I got eggs, cheese, peppers, and onions to cook after I cook up the bacon. And this time I got me a, a GSI fork because the big old long metal spoons don't work for everything. So the fork is good. It was only a dollar, so I broke the budget with it. Oh yeah, here the sizzle. All right, so while the bacon's cooking, I put all my stuff on my pad there so I can take down the tent. Oh, baby. Yeah, look at that. All right, bacon's done. I set it off to the side there. I gotta drain off some of this grease and start cooking the eggs. Hopefully my eggs didn't freeze. Oh, look at that, you even got poop from home. Heck yeah. Thank you, Dixie, for the added bonus. Oh, look at that. It's not frozen. Oops. I got a shell in it. Let's get these all scrambled up here. Put the cheese on last, but we've got peppers and onions to put in there right now. Let's stir this in good here. Yeah, just another minute and they'll be done. Eggs cook fast, so I'll probably throw some bacon on there now. We'll chop it up into little pieces. Oh, heck yeah, this is looking better this time than last time. All right, just need a little bit of cheese on there. We'll let that meat melt a little bit and we're good to go. All right, breakfast is done. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, baby. It's time to partake of the breakfast. Oh man, that is good. That helicopter's coming by again. They must really think I'm lost and struggling out here. I don't know, I don't think I'm struggling too bad. Get my hot beverage and eating like that, that's living, man. Thank you.
Well, all right. I'm all packed up, ready to hike back down to the road. I had to hike up a pretty good canyon to get here, off trail. So we'll see. Uh, the snow's not too deep, so I'm able to navigate it without uh, snowshoes. But anyway, it's a good little trip. I don't know, the sun came out, it's a beautiful day. And uh, had a good breakfast. It was a good trip all in all. It's good to get out and test some gear and try a few new things. Uh, lots of fun, I'll do this again. Yeah, so there's that canyon I gotta, I gotta climb down. Oh goody. Well, I'll just take my time and go down safely. Yeah, Chris, you'd be hating this off-trail stuff. I just gotta, it's pretty slick through here, too. I just gotta grab branches as I go. That right there, <laughs> that's a steep bugger coming down. Holy cow, I'm almost down to the better, more flat spot. To hike out of here. Hey. All right, here we go. All right, made it back down to the truck. Oh, wow, look at these uh, beautiful red, red rocks up there with the uh, sun hitting it. It's beautiful. All right, I fished this creek for maybe 30 minutes. I saw, oh, well over a dozen fish in there, but they just don't seem to be interested in biting this morning, so try again next time. Well, if you don't succeed, try, try again. Got one on. He's a fighter, he's jumping out of the water and stuff. Oh, a little brown. Awesome. Heck yeah, cute little bugger. All right, well that was a good finish to a overnight solo winter backpacking trip. Stopped at the creek here and fished for a little bit. And was able to catch a couple and I got one more bite that I couldn't bring in but because I was fiddling with the phone. Then he got off, but anyway, it was fun. So, till next time, get out there and have some fun.